The Briggs fire was ignited by lightning in August 2016, and the, the fire burned for about a month, from the middle of August 2016 to the middle of September 2016. So prior to the Briggs fire, we had the opportunity to fly the project area. The Briggs fire actually is within a large-scale prescribed burn project that was analyzed through the planning process. And within this process, we flew the area looking at the dense mixed conifer stands that we wanted to target for treatment. Within those stands, you would see a lot of dead. We have beetle epidemics, we have insect and disease, and so within those stands, the trees were dying and there was a heavy component of dead and down, so we were targeting these stands for treatment. During the fire, we had the opportunity to watch the fire behavior within those stands and to see how the fire actually worked through the mixed conifer, the heavy dead and down, and cleaned that up. After the fire, we were able to look at the mosaic burn patterns and see where the high severity fire actually burned through the mixed conifer and then was less severe in the aspen stands and the wetter areas. The Forest Service is a multiple use agency and one of the things that we do as a multiple use agency is that we manage forests for commercial timber and for wildlife habitat and for watersheds. Um, and often we do that with uh, mechanical treatments, whether they're commercial or non-commercial mechanical treatments. But in many cases, we have stands of low-value material a long way from the road um, that, that are being affected by insect and disease impacts, maybe by drought. Um, they have a lot of uh, heavy fuels and, and dead fuels. And in those cases, sometimes the best tool is fire. In the case of the Briggs fire that burned in 2016, um, it was managed within our perimeter to try to give us uh, the benefits associated with disturbance in places that we can't uh, manage, typically manage mechanically. So uh, a large part of the area where the Briggs fire burned is very steep mid-elevation forest that's been impacted over the last couple of decades by uh, Douglas fir beetle, fir engraver, um, we've had tens of thousands of acres of defoliation by western spruce budworm. Um, so a lot of these forests are partially dead, a lot of you know um, dead and dying material. Uh, and also uh, these mid-elevation forests on the, on the Beaver Ranger District have not been disturbed for, for many decades. And so they've become very dense with understory fuels, ladder fuels. And a fire like this helps us restore and rejuvenate some of that by uh, regenerating aspen by breaking up the uh, uniform canopy and by allowing for us to manage for multiple species and age classes across these, these mid-elevation forests. You know, when, during the Briggs fire, a number of people wondered, well, why don't you go in and use, you know, commercial logging or whatever to do similar kind of thing, uh, you know, regenerate forests or provide for different age classes. And as a multiple use agency, of course, we do provide uh, commercial timber to local operators and it's part of the, the mission of the Beaver Ranger District and it's something we do but in this case a lot of the country that, that was burned by the Briggs fire is um, too steep and inaccessible really for uh, for commercial operators and also the the species of uh, tree that we have out there is often of low value so uh, for example subalpine fir, uh, aspen, um, Rocky Mountain juniper these are things that that uh, these, these are types of trees that, that create ladder fuels and that, and that maybe fuel the fire but are not um, economically valuable. So it's difficult for us to justify significant road building into steep country to try to remove um, low value species. So because of that, you know, um, sometimes the best tool for us is fire. So having a mosaic result from a wildfire meets multiple objectives, and one of those is diversity of age and age class within the vegetation. Um, with the dead and dying conifer and the disease and insects that we have, that mosaic pattern allows for age class diversity and provides for a healthy stand within, within the, the drainages and within the ecosystem. And fire plays an important role in that part.